It's a beauty room. Psst. It's a beauty room. Psst. It's a beauty room. Psst. It's a beauty room. What's up, beauty squad? Let's get it. It's your girl, Precious, and I'm back, 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 back with another video. Yeah, I'm back with another video, and as you can already see, I will be doing some acrylic nails today and these are just products that i got off amazon i'm going to start off with my drill and i'm going to use the medium sanding band and i'm just going to buff away any gel polish that was left on my nails then i'm going to soak my nails in pure acetone to get rid of the acrylic that i had on my nails and then i'm going to use a cuticle pusher to push the acrylic away as it softens and it, it, dry, it dries up pretty fast when you take it out of the acetone and it tries to harden back up so you have to be mindful of how you do that and try to move pretty quickly I had to do that a process about three or four times and now I'm going to go back in with the medium sanding band and remove anything that I may not have gotten off with the scraper Now I'm going to go in with my cuticle pusher and push back my cuticles. Then I'm going to go in with this ball cuticle bit and just clean any debris or dead skin that may be left around the cuticle. And now I'm going to apply my tips, making sure they fit from side wall to side wall using the kiss glue. You don't want them to be too small because they'll pop off and you don't want them to be too big either. If they are too big, go with the bigger one and just file the sides to make it fit your nail perfectly. And I'm going to do a sculpted nail or a nail form nail. And right here I'm just debating which nail that I want to do. And as you can see, I went with the pinky nail to sculpt. And now I'm just going to cut my nails to my desired shape and then I'm go, going to go in with the nail file to, smooth, to sharpen up that shape. And I am using the 80 grit sandy band, nail file I'm sorry. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend the artificial nail with my natural nail using light strokes with the 80 80 grit sandy band and now I'm going to go in with clear acrylic and just build up that nail Now I'm going in with a creamy white color acrylic. I mix some pure white with clear to get this color. And I'm just gonna, you know. I'm going in with a thin layer to start off and I'm just building it up, working my way down to that cuticle because you would like, I want to keep a nice clean cuticle. And then I'm going to encapsulate this with the clear so that when I go in with the drill, I won't buff away any of the color. Then I'm going to repeat the same process for my middle finger, my ring finger, and my thumb. Going in with that milky color again, working my way down to the cuticle. And I just pick up product as I need it. I do not go by a certain ratio or anything. Just pick it up as I need it, building up that nail.
and I am using a size 12 acrylic brush then I'm gonna go in with the pink for my pinky it's a cover pink by Mia then I'm gonna go in with this uh, clear acrylic and I'm gonna dip it inside of some gold glitter These are my nails before I shape and buff them. I'm pushing back my I push back my skin on each side of my nail to make sure I don't cut myself. my nails buffing my nails and cleaning up that cuticle area oh my fingers so afflicted <laughs> And now I'm going in and I'm doing that unicorn nail that you see. I'm just using, angling my drill <laughs> to achieve that look. Now I'm just buffing away any lines or marks that may have been left. Alrighty y'all, here's the finished look. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more nail tutorials, let me know down in the comment section below. And make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bell. Until next time, beauty squad. Peace.